What's going on everyone? This is Smitty here and showing some CPU versus CPU NBA 2K17 gameplay. I want to talk about something in regards of this game, but I have a replay here to show you first. And the main point that I'm getting at here is that 2K has difficulty with ad-libbing basketball. And what I mean is that, what I bas basically uh, mean is that if the play is not heavily scripted, the players don't know exactly how to react. Now, games that do the, do a good job of it, of this, of, of ad-libbing, so to speak, is FIFA, PES, um, let me see what, yeah, FIFA, uh, PES, uh, NHL does a good job of it. Heck, even Live did a good job of it. Live 16 did a good job of that too. In terms of knowing how to react in situations without it necessarily having to be a two-man sequence playing. 2K is heavily inconsistent. Oops, apologize there, y'all. Did not mean to back out like that. But what I mean by that is this, and you're gonna see exactly what what I'm talking about here. Focus being on Paul Gasol. See, when 2K has separate, when they separate the animations in the game, as like, I'm just noticing, like just looking as you play. When you have these these instances where there's no two-man sequence being triggered or anything like that, the defender does not know what to do. They have this tendency, and it's very consistent in the game, they have this tendency where they'll just stand there, or they'll run to the vicinity where they're supposed to make the play, but then they just stand there looking lost and confused and never make an attempt, or they do the wrong animation in terms of uh, attempting to make a play. So, I'm going to focus it in right here and show exactly what I'm talking about here. So, Pau Gasol, he runs in. Davis is first looking at the ball. He's paying attention to what's going on there. But now Pau comes into the picture. You see the two-man sequence here play out. Okay, yep, that looks legit. That's cool. Now, when you see Pau run up here, in years past, this would be a two-man sequence. He, he initiates the post-up animation. Davis will be forced into it, but the way 2K is doing it, you know, with with all the independence that they're building upon, the problem is that you're not seeing it translate according to, uh, uh, you're not seeing the two-man sequence there, so now it's, Davis has to independently react the right way, but without having to be reliant on the scripting. So now you're telling the game all right, Davis, ad-lib. And they don't know what to do, except he moves into position, but he does nothing. There wasn't anything special done. There wasn't a screen. There was no screen to account for. There was nothing of that nature to account for here. And you see what happens. He throws it to Aldridge, and he just goes right back door there for the land. Now, the way Davis played that, would you think this guy averaged three blocks a game? being that kind of defensive presence but then all he could do is just that move and beat him like that that's my point all right so this next play this next play going into it here i'm gonna show it just run it all out in full speed but the problem is this is once again when it comes to ad living at times not all the time but it's very frequent when it comes to playing off of a screen mass confusion happens okay now you see the ball gets in like the ball gets thrown in thrown into uh, Aldridge okay Aldridge gets the rock here now the screen is coming Danny now from Danny Green's perspective he sees Drew Holiday there Holiday is off the screen he sees his man in basketball, why would, why would, from just, from just a basketball standpoint, just general, you ain't even got to throw ratings and all that stuff into the equation. Just from a general basketball standpoint, Tony Parker is not there to, John, Tony Parker at this point is not at an adequate state, in an adequate position, excuse me, to recover and, and to recover on his assignment. Why would Green continue on? and stick with him 
and leave it up to Parker to have to recover by going around to try and get back to Holiday. This is what I'm talking about. So when Holiday is getting it, he he sees Holiday is coming clear across. Parker's not there to get there. So then leave him. Green should just take him and let Parker get hemmed up on the assignment and just be there to, to take him for the moment until things adjust possibly so then he could switch back. Instead though, he just runs down. Oh man, I'm gonna leave him wide open. Why? And these are the kind of rotational things that we talk about in 2K that you know that happen in basketball like does this happen all the time? No, but this is where, I mean, you would have to have some real bad communication because first screen is set, Holiday gets around that, Powell doesn't rotate either. He doesn't rotate. So then Green should rotate over and pick him up, pick up Holiday and prevent that three. If anything, okay, make him work for it. And if he got to take advantage of, of, uh, of, uh, if he takes advantage of Parker with the size, then make it a harder situation in this area and have, you know, either Kawhi could rotate over and help if Parker got beat. Aldridge could rotate over if Parker got beat. But don't just leave him wide open like that because he's just going to blindly follow the assignment. And see, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to the ad-libbing aspect of NBA 2K. Now, does this stuff happen in the NBA? Yes, it does happen in the NBA. I'm not saying it doesn't. But in the fashion that's played out, it's like you see it. You see it. I mean, your your defensive awareness would have to be at pretty much 10 to not notice that, okay, he's beat off the screen. There's no rotation. He's coming down. In, he's pinning him down with a screen here. I'm not going to stay on him. I'm going to go out here because Parker doesn't have a clear lane to get to Holiday. That's the kind. Of, those are the kind of things I'm talking about. Ad living, 2K with ad living. They don't do a great job of it when it comes to the animations and when it comes to situation handling. Because once again, when you don't have a forced script in terms of him running out around here, like the way Holiday runs along the arc, that's scripted according to the way the play is diagrammed in game. It's scripted for him to run around the arc in the fashion that he's running around. It's scripted for him to run down and pin that screen on the angle that he took, that little curve he took to get there. It's not scripted for Parker, and it's not scripted for Green. So then when it comes to the game and doing the ad lib aspect and saying, oh, we got to think on the fly. Okay, so since since Parker's about to get hemmed with the screen, Green, get up here and defend. It's going to it's gonna be too late. The game takes too long to translate that. Just like how we saw a few possessions ago, uh, a possession or so ago, when it came to Davis in that instance with uh, with uh, Gasol. So that's where I'm gonna leave it at with this. And this is a big time issue right here. I don't know what 2K can do to make this work out properly, but this is why the A system and everything else is not it. That stuff, and I've said this, I've tweeted it to OG and Zar in the past. This is why the systems that they do, it doesn't matter what write-ups they do or what videos they do or what live streams they do, it's not going to be effective until the core can translate this game at a base level. If it's not translating basketball right at a base level, it's not going to matter what, the, what system they put on top. It has to be translated right at the core in order for their systems to be that additional functional add-on. You see what I'm saying? So that's the main point that I'm getting at here, y'all. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And I will be back with more videos. Comment, like, subscribe. You know, and I will holla at all of you guys later. Peace out. Hey guys, Smitty here again. Just another clip to add on to the whole ad living aspect here. This is once again what I'm talking about in terms of ad lib. Like ad living just core basketball without any kind of, of you know, uh, force animation construct. When you're playing defense, you're the last guy back. Last guy back. You're supposed to put yourself between 
you're supposed to be the one, the main guy between yourself and the rim. The last line of defense. And you're the first one down there. You turn around and you position yourself right here. Instead, you got Kawhi, who is between these two. You take that chance and make them take the more difficult long-range bucket opportunity. Instead, Green is going to... This guy's trailing. Davis is trailing, and he's just going to let him go and say, Oh, nope, I'm going to back out of the way because my guy's over here in the corner. And leave it up to Aldridge, who was trailing the, excuse me, trailing the play in the first place, to go ahead and get the foul as he gets the M1. See? These are the things I'm talking about here. These are the things that I'm talking about in regards of 2K basketball and just showcasing just core basketball fundamental aspects where the game slacks. And even this slowdown here, like him slowing it down, like he just slows down and then a whole little running in place kind of deal there. That's something Apex had pointed out, but many people see this too. So this is what I'm saying. 2K can be an outstanding game, but these things, they got to get right at the core. So, all right, just wanted to showcase this bonus, you know, this additional clip, I should say. All right, y'all, take care. Peace. Thanks a lot for your support on today's video. And don't forget to like, comment, and if you definitely want more content like this, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Definitely follow me on social media as well, and tune in live right here on YouTube with myself, some F-Ball Critic, and Azure Effect for the Sim Standard Google Hangout. Until next time, guys, take care, be safe, peace.